Have you been feeling the mental load a lot more than usual lately? Hi, I'm Marissa from Beautifully Organized and today we are having a little bit of a mum rant. Have you been noticing that you're taking on a lot of the default parent tasks all by yourself? Taking on more of the household management tasks like cooking or cleaning because your partner seems a little more stressed than usual? Scheduling all of the appointments like the doctor, the dentist, vaccinations, hairdresser, and automatically being the parent to take the kids to those as well? Are you the one enforcing the boundaries at home all the time? Put your devices away, time to tidy up, time to take a shower, it's bedtime, time for lights out. And you're noticing that if you don't do it, it just doesn't happen. Are you trying to keep everyone happy because you're uncomfortable with confrontation, even though they all want different things and none of those things are actually important to you anyway? Have you been finding yourself picking up after the kids or micromanaging when they do things like take off their shoes and socks when they get home and just dump them on the floor where they're sitting? Get a snack, unwrap it, eat it, and leave the wrapper behind on the table or floor. Ask you where things are when they've been put away and they're easy to find, they just didn't bother looking. Or ask you where something is because they haven't put it away and they can't remember where they left it. Leave things to the last minute, like packing their school bag or brushing their hair and then freaking out when it looks like they don't have enough time to do the thing at the last minute. I wanna take a minute today to validate how frustrating this is. You're the mum, not the maid. You shouldn't have to take on more in order to make things easier for everybody else. That's not sharing the load, that's giving you the load. Even if your partner has work tomorrow, they should help at home. You have work tomorrow too, whether that's paid work in the home or out of it, or unpaid work like keeping the kids alive and safe and cared for. Both are important. I don't have a simple solution for this one, unfortunately. It happens over and over again, and it seems like the only choices we have are do it all ourselves and risk overwhelm and burnout, ask, remind, or nag our loved ones to help more and risk them getting cranky at us, or throw our hands in the air and give up for a while and just let things fall where they fall, and then come back a few days later and pick it all up again because who else is going to do that? So if you're feeling frustrated, Please know you are not alone. Oh, and it's also not your responsibility to have chosen the right type of partner and not settled for one who doesn't help. Who knows what people are like at the beginning when everyone's in love? Or to have raised your kids to help more around the house. Um, mums are not the sole influence over children. Or to just make the best of it because you chose to partner up and have children. You didn't choose to be the maid. So yeah. I don't have a simple solution or the perfect answer for this, but I will share one thing that I do that helps a little. Every now and then, I just up and take a break. I go to the movies by myself every week and I love it. I take a weekend away alone now and then and even a holiday by myself for a week or two once a year. And before I go, I don't prep any meals. I don't go grocery shopping. I don't try and get up to date with the washing. I just let it be. The times I take a break are the times that the rest of the family realizes how much I do and learns that they can do it too. It's easier for me to do this now that my kids are older. So if you have babies and toddlers at the moment, I promise it will get easier for you too in a few years. Not easy, but easier. And of course, I have a very helpful partner. I have good kids. I'm not saying they're terrible people, but I don't think I'm alone in feeling this way. Anyway, that's it for me this week. Thank you for letting me rant and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, I've got a necklace and hair in the way of the mic today. So we're just gonna hope that it works out. Can you hear my cat? <clears throat> I have a little hair on here, hang on. Oh, hi, I just wanted to let you know before you watch the next video, we have some really good resources that are totally free and we run regular workshops online so you can join me live if you want to. Check out the links below and hopefully I'll see you there soon.